Okay. All right. We're off to this new mix Mishnah. This new Mishnah is, uh, I'd say, a very dochuk Mishnah. Very difficult to understand what's going on in this Mishnah. We have this parak so far, we've been learning about all kinds of uh, connections to the mikvah that are not such good connections, so to speak. There's, uh, we, had, we had the water going through with the sponges, different kinds of things. Sometimes it's called that it's connected to the mikvah, sometimes it's not called connected to the mikvah. And this Mishnah is following that line of that line of uh, thought. Gistra. Gistra means a broken cleat, a piece of a cleat, a, a shard. I guess that's how we translate it into English. Sheba mitva. You have a, a, a broken piece that's inside the mikvah. The hit bill ba es a kalim. And the kalim. Oh, one second. One second over here. Forgot. This is. This. Uh, this year is uh, dedicated by the Crow family, the Louis Nishas of Victor Ben Rabitzchok. Sorry, I forgot the. Anyways, so um, you, you, if a person tabled into that, tabled a Kli into that Kli, Taharu Mitumason, the Kli is Tahar from the Tumba. But it becomes tame from the klicheres. Now this is a fascinating aloha that needs a little bit of background in order to understand what's really going on over here. There is a, um, I call it a strange halacha, but I guess most halachas in the and Tire we call them strange because we don't have any uh, natural understanding of them. A regular kli, the air inside the kli, is not tummy. In other words, in order for most most of the times, in order for a person to become tummy, he has to touch tumma. The exception that people are aware of is that if a person is in an oil of a mace, so even though he doesn't touch the mace, but so to speak, the mace fills the whole space with tumma. And it's just like you're touching it, so to speak. That's, uh, I don't know how to explain it exactly, but that's, that we understand that kind of a concept of an oil and a mace. So you're in the same confines as the, as the mace, and then you're tummy. That we accept, I guess the reason why we accept that is because we've heard it so many times that we just take it at face value. If a person would be inside a clee that's made out of wood, we wouldn't say that he becomes tame just because he's inside that cleat that's made out of wood. Why should he be tame? He didn't touch the tuma. We know that tuma transfers if you touch it. You didn't touch the tuma, so why should he become tame? That's what we would assume normally. That is the case with most kalim. However, klicheres, um, something which is inside the klicheres, is tame, even though it didn't touch the klicheres. So it's sort of, so to speak, like a uh, oil on mace, just the difference in the oil on mace and, and uh, the oil on mace and, and the klicheres is in the oil on mace, there's the tumor there and you're there. So we say, so to speak, if you're sitting in a room together with a smoker, so you get a cold, they're gonna get full of smoke. So if a person is in there together with a corpse, so he's going to get tummy, okay? But uh, there has to be some connection. I don't want to sound funny, but even if a person will be in the same room as somebody with corona, you don't catch it unless there has to go somehow. Just being there, that's not going to do it, right? But a person is in a cleat that's cheres, then he will get the tumma even though there is no other tummy thing inside there, just that the cleat cheres is tummy. And that's the loch of a Whereas if that kli would be made out of wood, the exact same situation, and it does not tell me because the inside of a kli eats is not metama, only the inside of a kli is metama. That's a peculiar nature to kli And maybe one day, if we learn kalim, we'll explain why kharis is different than other kalim. But um, that's the loch. So now, and this is, I think, the most important sentence I could say tonight. 
Um, the fact that there's water inside a klicheres does not negate the fact that there are other things inside a klicheres. In other words, if a person is inside a klicheres and there's water inside a klicheres, and this is a discussion, parts which we discussed many times, you're still in the mix even though you're in the water. Right? In other words, where are you? You're still in the mikvah, even though you're in the water. So if you still be in the klicharis, even though there's water in the klicharis. So if a klicharis is metama, just by the fact that something is in its um, parameters, inside parameters, so the fact that there's water there also is not going to change anything. The only time that would change something is if he's in a mikvah inside a klicharis. So then he's so to speak, he's being toivul and he's being tummy at the same time, which I really don't know. Um, there's a famous Maimar Chazal. He's a toivul of Sharetz Biyadoy. Um, does anybody know what that means? Because uh, I don't really know what it means. Somebody can tell me what it means. I, I'm going to ask you, I'm going to ask you, Shlomo, you should know because your wife's an actuary. So you should be able to answer this question. What does it mean? Anybody want to answer the question? I, I think it means that you're going to get your Tara, but as soon as you get out, you're going to be tummy again. So you really haven't done anything. Uh, okay. It's, so that's possibly so. Sheffer, do you agree with that? No, but I don't understand your question. I don't agree with it. No, not at all. Okay. So but then you understand my question because I said I don't understand it. So you have one ex explanation. You don't understand it. What I, does I'm, it? I'm with Sheffer on this one. What? I'm with, I'm with Sheffer on this one. I don't understand the question either. What does it mean? You know, it's it, it's a metaphor, right? It just means it doesn't work. So I want to know why doesn't it work? What's the what's the technicality? It doesn't work. So Michiel says what happens is you become tahar, and as soon as you become tahar, you become tummy again. There's a process. You became tahar, and then you became tummy. You can't become you can't become tahar if you're holding the tumor, the source of the tumor. Okay, okay, that's not okay. That could be, but that's not what Yechiel said. Yechiel said. No, I said that's what I'm saying. saying. We're Shefer on this one. Okay, Just a chasita, so, maybe. What? Okay, that could be. Okay, but but the the, the 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 question is the question over here is 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 there such a thing as a it's just an attempt. That's what it means. A toivu shares via means you just made an attempt. It's not even an attempt. You're wasting your time. So toivu shares via it could be toivu with, with, with a ping pong ball in his hand also. It would be the same. I could be toivu shares via is just as good as as Shlomo would say as being toivu with a chatita. Doesn't work. It's taking a bath with with mud. That's basically what you're doing. Okay, I, I, okay, okay. I'm not gonna, you're not, you're not ever gonna be clean. That. You're not ever gonna be clean because you have the dirt with you. The dirt is in there when you're t cleaning yourself I, up. Okay, okay. So I just, I just wanna, I just wanna, uh, say, I, I, I just, I'm gonna repeat. I don't know what it means to tell the shirts the other, but the, uh, the, the problem is that I understand that the answer is somewhere between what Yechiel said and what you're saying. And I don't really have it honed down. And I'll explain to you what I think is happening. There is a Misa Tyra that's happening, but there is something that's stopping it from working. But it's like a new, it's like a new Tuma is happening. Now, if it just be that your Tayyul Shards Biyodai would mean that it doesn't work, so just like saying your Tayyul the Chatzitza, your Tayyul didn't go all the way under. So just the other means that being that even if the tevila would help, you're going to become tummy anyways. So we see it as if that the act of the tefillah itself is a non-act of tefillah. That's what I understand somehow that that's what the Maimon Chazal is projecting. But, but, but otherwise, otherwise just saying that, so you know what? I want to tell you something. Parents, you probably took a shower today and probably going to take a shower tomorrow. So what for? Right? I, I'm not holding, I'm not sitting in dirt when I'm taking the shower. Okay, so Toivu Basharetz Miyadoi means that the tefillah cannot work because you're dirty? Is that what it means? Because you're tummy? It's because the yes. thing that's making me tummy is there the whole time. 
So therefore, so therefore I am not taking care of the tuma problem at all. But the tefillah was a tefillah. I, it was a tefillah that's worthless because the tuma is there all the time. You're embedded with tuma. You know, I want to ask you a question, parents. Uh, you know, they had these when I was a kid. They still have them. These guys that you know you do with your hand grips. You know what I'm talking about? I don't know what they're called. So a person holds them like this in his hand. Okay, okay, good, good. All right. So now when a person squeezes that and he holds it there, is he doing an action when he's holding it there? His action was squeezing it. He's I, just said, I just said yes or no. I don't know how you I, yeah, no. So now, so are, are you doing, uh, Lev? Are you doing something when you it's hold it? No, no. Hold it. No, hold it. Hold but it. Close. How are you defining an action? Is an action defined as motion, or is an action defined? Oh, you're exerting your muscles in, in the same way. But we don't see anything happening, right? So right. that's only. That's only. You know, it's, we understand that you're burning calories, even though we don't see the effort being. You know, we probably could somehow hook you up to some kind of machine to see it, but uh, to, the, to the naked eye, we don't see anything happening, right? But we understand that that's called a misa. That's a misa in, in, in static form, but it's a misa, right? A person is being toivel, and at the same time as he's being toivel, he's becoming tame. so it could very well be that he has never become tahor, but it doesn't mean that the tefillah is invalid. And it's actually a new tumor which is happening. The old tumor, which was there a second ago, the Trila helped for, but it doesn't help because he got zonked again as soon as he as soon as he came out. Which is what Yechiel was trying to say originally. So he, right? so he, if he's a coin, he's over every second he's in there? Could be. Could be. Could be. Could be that's that coin that's in the base of forest. He's over for every zman and shihia there. That's true. Right. Even so he didn't he's, do in, he's in the mikvah in the base of forest. Okay. So. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, no, I'm just I'm just giving an example again. I just repeat. I don't know what it means, but but it's relevant for the concept of the Mishnah. The the question that I'm asking. Yeah. What well, my, my nafkamina? Okay. So now puts me that point. No. So we're gonna see why. I, I after after we we've we've tossed that around. I think that what I'm gonna say in this Mishnah will be understood. A person is in the mikvah and the mikvah is metahir him. Aside from the fact that the mikvah is metahir him, the tumma of the klicheres, which is of a different nature, could actually be metamahim. So he could theoretically be coming tahor and tameh at the same time. It happens to be over there that it's two different kinds of tumors. So what would happen is, theoretically, when he would come out of the mikvah, and I'm just going to make this, uh, I said this over once, that the Beis Yosef says that the tahira of the mikvah happens when you come out of the water, not when you go into the water. Did I discuss this ever? Yeah, not long okay. ago. Not long ago. Fine. Okay. So now when the person comes out of the water, so he became... Tahar from his tumma, and he became tame from the fact that he was in a klicheres because a klicheres, another unique halacha that a klicheres has is that it doesn't become tahar in a mikvah. A regular kli of eights uh, or evan will become tahar in a mikvah, but a klicheres doesn't. So that stays in, I'll just get one second, that stays tame forever. Mm -hmm. So even though he's in the mikvah, he becomes Tahar and Tameh at the same time. Yeah, Shafra, what do you want to ask? That, are you suggesting that this Tuma Chala al Tuma Acher, different types of Tuma could be Chala on each other? It's not Chala. Then one is going away, one is coming. It doesn't have to come. One is going away. He went to the Mikvah, a bona fide tefillah for, for Tuma Smeis or whatever it was that he went for. And at the same time, when he comes out, he's going to become Tomei with uh, Tumas Klicheres. Because they're not, it's not Chal on that Tumas, it's a different uh, thing happening, and it's even happening at a later date. Why, why is okay. it a Gister and not a Kli? Um, uh, 
you'll have a wine bottle that fell on the floor on Shabbos and it broke. Are you allowed to clean up the pieces? If someone's going to get hurt on it, yeah. Why can't you do it? Why? They're pieces of a wine bottle. What's the problem? Well, you mean if, if it's still useful? I, I ask you a question. Uh, wh- why did you Why did you say what you said? Why I said, why did the Mishnah say Dafka Gister and not a Kli if it's just doing the point that it's going to be Tame from the Kli? Uh, okay, so I'll, that question will be answered. I didn't get to explain that part. Okay. Of the but, but no, but you asked before a different question. Why isn't the Gister a Kli? That's a different question. No, no, no. I said, why is it a Gister and not a Kli? That's, that's what I asked. Uh, it is not a Kli. I'm sorry. I thought you said, why, I thought you said, why isn't a Gister a Kli? No, no, no. Why? why I'm sorry. I misunderstood you. Okay. Anyways. So the Mishnah says, now we're going to read the Mishnah. Gistro Sheba Mikva, the Hitvil Boas Akalim, Toharumi Tumasan, the Kalim become Tohar from the Tuma that they had, their pre existing Tuma. Abel Tameim, Algav, Klicharis, they become Tome because of the Tuma that the Klicharis is giving off at that time. Vimhoyu Hamayim Tofim Algabov, Kol Shehem, if the water of the mikvah was higher than the rim of the gistra. So now, once we had, and I'm repeating this idea, we have more than a klipa sashum of mikvah water on top of a kli. So we see it clearly that you're tabling inside the mikvah. So I don't care that you had tumas, tuma, tuma from a kli charis. Why? Because right now you went into the mikvah on top of it. So if the water, if the if the gistro is submerged, so then even a mashu kol shehein tahirin. That's a, a very simple halacha, so to speak. Why? Because it's as if your hands became tamei, then you went and stuck them into a kosher mikvah. This kosher mikvah just happens to be the one that's a klipa sashum higher than the than the the gistro. Yeah, people with me over here. Okay, fine. Wait, I've, I've, uh, I've uh... Let me question. I thought Avir Klicheris is not Metame Kalim. It's Metame the water. That's Metame. It's Metame Ocholim Yeah, that's right. Metame the water. That's what he's saying. That's, that's Wait, the Klicheris can be Metame to make for water? Oh. Oh. So the no. answer to that question is, the answer to that question is, the, 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 the Yochin explains this question very well. He says that um, as you're taking it out, since it's, it's higher than the water level, so there are droplets of water that are on it, and they are in the airspace. I don't know what you want to call it exactly, in the, of the Klicheres, and they become Tame, and then they're the Metamata person. Even though it's still Mechuber to the Mikvah. It's not because we hold Nitzuk Lav Kibur. That's... that's I right now just have, told you over. We have the mikvah of exactly Abraham's son. Someone got out and the water is still on him. It's, it's a machlegis tanoim. It's a machlegis tanoim. He says this is going going to the mandiyamer that it's not uh, a kibur. You know, okay. That you know, asked a very good question. I and Beyochim, he deals with every single aspect of your question. But the, the question is what I say is better than the answer. Not that the answer is not a good answer. You say, but that's but that's a very astute question. Okay. Um, now we're going to have a similar halacha. And um, I'm not really sure, you'll see in a minute why, I'm not really sure what the Chiddush of this Mishnah is. The second part, Mayan Hayatzem min Atanur. You have a Mayan, this is beyond my realm of understanding physically why would such a thing be going on. As far as I know, Tanurim are used to cook food and they have fires in them. And as far as I know, most of the time, Water and fire don't get along, but Ekshahu, and why do we have to have that it's in a Mayan and not a Mikveh? I'm not really sure that either. These are some of the issues that I have with this Mishnah, but Ekshahu, that, that those, are, those are logistical questions, except for the last one. The, um, we have Mayan Ayetzim in Atanor, the yard of the Tov a person went and toveled inside the Tanor, Hu Tahar. The yod of Tameyos, because a Tanor is not metame an Odom, but can be metame Yadayim. Okay, so this is a similar halacha to the halacha of the Reisha, not much different so far. 
Timoyo Agabov, Rum Yodov, as opposed to beforehand, where we said, Hoyo Agabov, um, Kolsho, Kripus Hashum, where we said, Kolsho, Kolsho, so here we have more, and then we'll have to explain this. If you had over here on top of it, more than a Rum Yodov, Af Yodov Tahoyrois, because of the same concept as we had in the earlier Mishnah, because uh, you're, you're, you're we're in a kosher mikvah before you came out of the water altogether, and therefore everything is taught. That's that's the the Mishnah. So again, the Mishnah says if you have kalim that went in, as long as you have a mashu on top, that's good enough. If you have hands that went in, so then you need to have rum yadav. That's the of the mix of the Mishnah. What does rum yadav mean? The um, the Height. Uh, height, sure. yeah. Ro, a, a mikvah is Amma Lama Barum Gimel Amas. And Amma Amma by. Rom Vim is not saying. Right? Yeah. Uh, Above height, your yeah. hand? Uh, no, it's, no, you have to have. You no, know, that's your hand is three, three, three centimeters. So you have to have three centimeters height above the cleat in the water. Yeah. It has to look like an oval full Kiddush cup. Well, it has to be probably more than that. But I, 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 I would like to say, I would like to say that that's, I, uh, that's, that's no good, uh, to, so to speak. I'm not really sure. Um, when you have an over full Kiddush cup, so we actually have, we have surface tension, and that's why you get this kind of a, a mound on top of it. Well, we here we're talking about that you're inside the mikvah. In your situation, um, I have much pain, which we'll discuss in a minute, uh, the pain that I have. Um, you're just in the gistra. If you're going to have surface tension, that means you don't have a free flow of water on top. If you don't have free flow of water on top, so how are you connected to the mikvah? Yechiel, you with me? It's so it's right. So 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 you're saying that it has to be like a geyser? Not a geyser. You have a a mikvah, and you have a cup that's um, lower than the mikvah is is a is a foot uh, ten feet tall, whatever. And this cup is nine point point seven feet tall. So there's water on top of it. Yeah. Marshall, but but when we have the tanur that's getting fed from a mayan that's under it, yeah. So, so, so your your mikvah well, well, is your the tanur. That question is that your your mayan will spill over the place where it's in only has a certain height. The water, the excess water, will be running off. So but it, the, the, over the, the top. Were you ever? You know, I, I do this with my kids. I used to do this all the time. You go to Tveria, so there's this um, chamei Tveria that has outside, it has this spring on the side of the road. You know what I'm talking about? Yes. You shouldn't be there, by the way, Yechiel. I don't so go then, there ever, don't worry. But I know about it. I heard about it. I saw it 30 odd years ago. Before I knew I shouldn't go there. Yeah, anyways, anyways, this is a Kohanim's problem. I, I'm not sure if it's there, but I don't know how you would get there, <laughs> whatever. Anyways, anyways, so there, um, where does the water, this water from the from the the to home coming out, and that place never gets full? Where does it go? I have no clue. What it does go back down, or it just no, above the top of the It runs off. I don't know. It's like you know. It's, it's a not. It's not a question. <laughs> it could go to many places. Anyways, I thought it anyways. meant the tanner was in the was in the Mayan. The what? The tanner was in the Mayan. Shaya. No, so that would solve his problem. That's, that means no, the, no, but we're talking about how do you have that there's water right over it? Why? Because the tanner is in it. So yes, the so Mayan. I told him that's correct. It means that the water level of the of the Mayan is is taller than the Kli. Yeah. That's all. Okay. Right, that's. Now he wanted to know why isn't it that it, that it should be it should be always filling up should it cover over the it should cover over the uh, you know 
the cleave. All right. Anyways, that's the that's the simple reading of the Mishnah. Now the question over here is, and this is um, a really difficult question, and it really needs a Hasber. Nobody asked me this question. I'm very surprised. How is the water in the shard connected to the mikvah in the ratio? Because it has a jagged rim. Okay. I'm willing to accept that as a, uh, a, a, a hypothesis. There are Rishonim who learn like that, the rush. I have a question on that shot. Um, Shri Ferris Anod is the question? No. Okay. Do people see this? I know when I get closer, it gets lost. Um, Mr. Crow, I'm sorry. You have to excuse me for one second. Okay. Is this is this clear? This picture over here. Hello, you people see it? Yes. Okay. There's one side that's higher than the dot, and one side that's lower than the dot. Is this ba'aver klicheres? What the dot? Yeah. No. Okay. Now, will you please tell me your answer one more time? I claimed no. No. Can you answer the question? I said how. I'm going. I'm going back to the my to my to my question. How um, how how is it batoch? How is it how is it connected? If it's like a W all around, so you have pieces going up. So I'm asking you, is the your hands when they're in that place? The are they the are they When the kalim, when the kalim, and you have some jagged edges sticking are out. The of the are the kalim, right? You have jagged edges. It looks like a crown. Okay. Right, it looks like a crown, right? Okay. So, so, and and the crown, the, the triangles of the crown are above the waterline. Right, or some some of them. Some the of top. them. But right. at least the I have two. I at least I have two that are parallel to each other. That's the point. Yeah. So then, when I lift the kli out of the water, so then I am passing that space between these two triangles. I I I I, I want to ask you a question. What's that? Shefford, do you buy that? What are you saying? No, I know he doesn't. <laughs> Shefford, do you buy what he's saying? Um, yes, I believe that. It, I'm not sure where the clee ends. The clee ends I'm at the water line. If, if that's I, I'm asking you, in the Tilas Yadayim, where does the clee end? In your picture, where's the end of the clee? Could you take the end of the clee? Wouldn't you just exactly. take a line from one edge to the other and whatever is below it that's in, right? No, but I'm asking you, to where does it hold water? To the top. Okay, to the top. No, it doesn't hold water to the top. A clee holds water to the top. If I, if your person has a clee and it feels you're dying and there's a chip in it on the top, so you can't take the a dying because the loch of the clee is only from the lowest point that it holds water, right? Yes. Right? Yeah. So, so when I'm going to have a gistro that looks like this, and I'm not even going to be so, all right, whatever. I don't know why I just do this. Okay, people, we'll try this one more time. Here we go. Okay. There's also a whiteboard that you know, next time the rock can use the whiteboard and just take his finger and create. Where, the where, 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 do, where do I find that? It's on the, on the screen itself. You can do that. But what does Rod have to press on on his? Uh, the only things that I have where it says more. The only things I have is chat, meeting settings, minimize, minimize meeting, virtual background, raise hand, just connect audio. Yeah, well, it's, not, it's not worth it now. So, so we said anyways. Low we, we, have, 
with your pen, could you show where the top of the Kli is, please? No, that, I don't know the answer to that question, so what? I can't show it. I'm asking you, wouldn't you make a line from one edge to the other, and whatever is below that line is Avir Kli Cheres? No, here, here. Let's, here we have, okay, this is, if I make an angle from here to here, right? So this is definitely a part of the Kli, but it can't hold, there's no Avir, because if it would be only one shard. So Yechiel came up with a great idea. He says, well, very nice. We'll make a U, and we'll just have on the other side, and then north and south will have walls, and east and west will be breached. And this way, it's called Avrikli Cheres. Who says that that's called Avrikli? Maybe Avrikli has to have sides on all sides. And if it's enough one side, maybe one side's enough. But there, there's a case, uh, there's a case in Kalim where the one ledge is higher or there's a lower ledge, and you just make the angle from one ledge to the other. What, what, what second? I so would, you would had... take a, a line from the high one to the low one, and that would be considered Avir Klicheris. If that would be the situation, this would be an Ave Klicheres? Yeah. Uh, even though that it cannot hold any water over there. Even though it can't hold water, it holds air. What? It holds air in it. It has space in it. No, who even says that Klicheres Who said that big, has to how, hold water? How big, how big does it have to be? Could it be a tooth, toothpicks sticking up? Let's say it's half half of it is high and half of it is low. Let's say. Well, I'm just asking you if you had two toothpicks, one on each side, you know, just a small shard, a millimeter going up across from another millimeter, that's enough? Anyways, love me, Shanet. Well, just... That's, it doesn't I, matter. It's, bro it's broken. It doesn't have to be broken all the way. It's broken part way. No, no, I'm just asking you, how much do you have to have that you could say that it has, it, ha it holds I something? Don't, I don't remember what this year is, but this... Okay. okay, anyways, let's we'll leave it alone. Anyways, there are some Rishonim who learn exactly like that. That's the Shittas Harash, that you have these crowns, if you want to call it like that. And through the crowns, that's how it attaches itself. So it's very similar to the case like a Svoig or, 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 or a Rashet that we discussed last week. And that's Mamash is a great Mahalach in this Mishnah. The problem is, the problem is that the Rash... His shot in the Mishnah, when I say it's really horrible, until we say the shot. After we say the shot, it's really a great shot. But it's really horrible because he makes a point out of saying that uh, it's, it's a tomb. There's no, there's no crack in it. And he says as follows. Listen to the words. This is Lumdis happening for you. The water inside of it is bottle to the mikvah. And therefore you can kasher kayal. Who knows? This is wild. We never had such a thing beforehand. All we always had some kind of seepage, some kind of a connection. We never were able to have such a thing that you could have a totally independent water. And since it's Shivre Kalim, so we say that it's Mamish, but you know, it's, it's bottled to it. We didn't say that it's, it, it's, it's bottled Baroy. It's, but it's insignificant, and therefore you could table in it. Right. This it's, is not called, feel, it's not Tilas Kelly, he's saying. But, but you have mikvah water? Or what kind of water is inside this place? Right, because there's no kli here, so of course it's a mikvah, because we don't see a kli here. So even if, and I'm just asking you, are you suggesting that even according to the Chazanish, if I took this shivre kli, and I filled it with water, and then I submerged it, and even though the walls are higher than the uh, thing that it's called, you tell the mikvah water, and this water had never saw a mikvah in its life. I, maybe, maybe, maybe the Rosh would insist at least that the water came from the mikvah, but I guess, maybe, why would that help? Maybe, I will tell you that you are right. There are those who actually say that in the Rosh. 
You have, no, you have um, a Mishnah's Kalim? Do I have a Mishnah's Kalim? I have the whole thing. I have a Gemara. Huh? The whole thing? I have a Gemara. So I have okay, the whole thing. They're in a uh, per Kalim Dalid Gimel. I can I can share it if you want. Yeah, you can share it. That's nice. Hatayim shabakelim cheres tavla and the levaz is in that Mishnah. What? No, it says it's. What you say? Dalid Eric Dalid Mishnah Gimel. Dalid, Dalid Gimel. I'm sorry. Dalid Gimel. Ezo Gistro Kol Shenot Lo is now. Okay. Okay. Avi Bar Chedur Yaitza. Because since it can hold. Okay, I hear I hear what you're saying. So you don't. I guess you could have. You could have. Uh, I don't know why you. I don't know why you this say is that. This is basically Yechiel's case. I think. I don't, I don't know. No, but I don't know why you say you're, you're drawing the line. It could actually be taller than the line. Now, there's another mission about drawing the line. This is this was a different one. According to this, the car could be even bigger than the line. You know, it could hold. It could hold. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. That's if it's limited breaks in it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Anyways, okay, that's good. I That's helpful. Anyways, now, now it's not helpful. I have to find my, I have to find my mission at that. Caleb is easy because it's in the beginning. The voice is towards the end. Yeah. All right. Anyways, so the so the Rosh the Rosh says this idea that needs a Hezber. He says that it's bottled. Now the Chazanish, he addresses this halacha, this rash, and he says something which is uh, okay if you if you say that it was filled up with mikvah water. He says that being that it's a gistra, and this is the answer to Peretz's question. Peretz asked, "Why do we speak about a gistra, not about a kli? What's so special about a gistra?" So we already know the rash really addresses that issue. He says, what was Lash and Arash? Bato. Kivon the Shever Klihu. Kivon the Shever Klihu. So the Svara that makes the water, mix the water, well, I don't know what the Svara is, but the Svara is Kivon the Shever Klihu. So therefore, so, so the, uh, so the Chazanish says that we look at it like a bunch of sand. We don't see it as a Kli. Gistra means not only that the Kli is broken from its purposes, we don't see the unified mass. We look at it as a porous material. Which is, uh, and therefore, uh, what? And therefore what? And therefore we see the water inside as it's in the mikvah. It's not because it's shofar sanod, but because it's nothing black. Yeah, you only need a shofar sanod when you have a machitza. This is not a machitza. Why is it different than shofar sanod or better? A shofar sanod is a way to walk through a machitza. Right. If you don't have a machitza, that's not better than Shvaris. I know it's. Uh, it, it, it either it way, is. either way, it's part of the mikvah. Yes, yeah, that's true. You will have the same results. You have the same results, but it's not with the same, with the same understanding. Here, even though it's actually in a different domain, but being that halachically we call that a shard, it doesn't have the, uh, it doesn't have the right to take up space. I guess we can call it like that. And the mela, we see it as it's in the mikvah. There are those who will say, even if the water inside is not mikvah water, we look at it like it was meshik to the mikvah because there's nothing there. That's, that's more of the pshat of badli me meha. You're not mavatal the kli. Right. We're not badli kli because and that, I understand that. I believe that's what you That's just is, the reading of it. You're not mavatal. 100%. The but the reason why is that the kli is not there, that's poshit. 
but they say that no, I didn't say that's push it, but that that's that that were that were that that's step one. That's we're taking that on as a double push it. Not only is that true, though, do we say also that it's as if the water is mixed? Right. Now I, that's really it's a hard pill to swallow because at the same time you have to say, and when you can take your hands out, they become tummy because it's inside a a, 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 a gistra, right? That's like you know, but that's a little a bit different. What? It's a special din. I mean, that's yeah, and not only that, it works very nice with what you're saying, Shlomo. Bottle may mouth. In the Mayan, we said it's bottle. We didn't say the gistra doesn't exist. Right. But gistras don't hold water. That's basically the concept going to the Chazanish. That only applies to a gistra which is a cheres and not any other kli? The Shalalach only applies. To that. I, I, I don't know the answer to that question, but this the case of the Mishnah only applies to. Uh, you know, the whole thing doesn't exist elsewhere. But this uh, clean any other clean, any other ah, clean, any no, other clean would become tahar. I don't know. I don't know the answer to that question. I don't know the answer to that question. But wouldn't any yeah, other clean become clean. tahar? What? Wouldn't any other clean become tahar? It's only clean cheres that's the problem. Yeah, but but that's that's a different question. Sheffer is asking a question. I don't know the answer to. He says, if I had a kosher, a, a tahar clean, that's a gistro. And I put in water from the sink. And now I table something in there. Will I say that it's bottled to the mikvah? That's, not, about what the That's not what I asked. That's a nice question, though. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm sorry. What was your question? If this gistra is a cheres and it's broken, it's not a cleat, then what do I care that it was a cheres at one point? Because it doesn't lose, that's a halacha, that, that, that it, 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 get, it still has its tumor. It's still, it's, so it's still, it means it's still a kli? It's still, it's not destroyed enough that it has no more tumor. No poka tumor in minek. Okay, that's like the sherets. It's like the sherets, even though he's in the mikri, he still retains his tumor. Yeah, well, this that doesn't have that. It doesn't have that process. Cheres is a. It's a very interesting thing. Cheres says, you know, it doesn't get koshered either. Cheres is a funny thing. Cheres is all right. Is there a custom? Yeah. Well, I mean, I will just yeah. quote my Rashivi should be well. He says, "Gzeres customs are understandable." Gzeres just means I wouldn't have said it without the without the Torah telling it to you. The, 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 the understanding behind all of these things is that Cheres is such a inferior Homer that its whole um, presence of Hashivas is only because it can hold other things. So therefore, its Teich is more substantial than a regular Klee's Teich. This is how some explain it. All right, we're going to stop over here. Nice to see you people. I missed you last week. I, I just want to give you the other mission in Kalim is in Perik Zion Gimel. That's okay, we'll take a look. Up. Yeah, just. Well, you can, you can switch, you can, you can flip through pages pretty quick. I, you I must knew, have. I knew it was there. I just had to find where it was. <laughs> I knew what it was okay. supposed to be about. That's all. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, have a good night. I called to Gesund the Winter. Oh, Gesund the Winter for everybody. Okay. Amen. Amen. Amen.